Hey everybody, I'm here today with a simple and easy driving test tip that will help you get your license. The tip is to know your road signs. Now here's the thing, there are two aspects of driving. I like to think of it as two aspects and they work together but in reality they are two separate aspects. You have your driving skills and then you have your driving theory okay now the driving skills are actually the things that you you actually you know do like steering to the right steering to the left and so forth your driving theory on the other hand is are the things that you know so it's sort of like in practice in knowledge right so I'll be talking about road signs which I consider to be part of driving theory so many drivers focus all of their attention on driving skills and they get to become really great drivers except the problem is your driving skills are demonstrating what you should know, okay? And what you should know is road signs. Road signs fall into this category. Now, when you see a road sign, you should know how to react or respond to that road sign. You might know how to maintain your speed at 60 kilometers an hour, but you might not notice the road sign saying that it's a school zone, which reduces the speed limit potentially. It might or it might not. It depends on where you live. But let's just say, so you're driving 60 kilometers an hour, you're driving, you know, you're keeping that speed perfectly, but you didn't know what this sign meant, so you're actually not doing the right thing. So in my opinion, road signs actually come first in that you have to know what they mean to know what to do to respond to them. You have to know the knowledge to know the action. It's as simple as that. So what I want you to do is study your road signs and know your road signs. Now we all know the common ones, okay? We all know the speed limit, the stop sign, the yield sign, blah, blah, blah. Those aren't the ones that I'm concerned about because the driving examiner is gonna just assume that you know those. The driving examiner is gonna be looking for whether or not you know the more complex ones, the ones that you only see once in a while, the ones that require you to take a few actions instead of just one action like stop, right? They're gonna be looking for your knowledge and your ability to respond to those signs. So what I would recommend, go and get your local driver's handbook. Now you, you might already have it because you probably bought it to study for the test, but if you didn't, go and get it or look online because in, oftentimes in many major cities, they'll make it freely available online, all of the information that you need to learn to drive online. So get the handbook or look online. And I want you to study all of the road signs that you might possibly encounter. I want you to get to know all of the road signs that you have that you might encounter and also drive around the testing area and be familiar with all of the major road signs that you're going to see. And if you do that, you're going to actually have a better chance at passing the test because you're going to have the knowledge and then if you practice your skills, you're going to have the actions. It's as simple as that. Know your road signs. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.